Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see a switch function in R programming language. So open your R studio and then create one R script. So this R script editor will open. Now, now coming back to switch function in other programming languages such as Python, Ruby, Java and C++, you'll find you have switch statement that goes through available options in case of r you have switch function so basically the syntax for that switch function is switch then function declaration inside that it accepts statement and list so the statement that you want to choose and the list of options within that so let's take example so that you can understand so i have this switch function and here I want to select option 2 from the list and my list is basically numbers so these numbers are in strings okay so as you know list in R starts from 1 instead of 0th index so this 1 will be 1 2 will be 2 and 3 so when we choose 2 it should print this two okay now let's execute and find out how it works and as you can see it selected two if you choose three it should select three okay so what if you choose something that is out of the range of this list so in that case simply choose that number and then execute again and you will find the output showing null it will return with blank prompt it will not show you the answer if you are using any other ID, you may find it returns with null, but in case of RStudio, it is now not showing the output as null, instead it is returning the prompt. Okay, so basically switch function in R is much more easy to use compared to the switch statement in any other programming language. So this was a short demo on how to use switch function in our programming language.